fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Most routers or modems are built for places like New York or London, whereas many of the people connected to the internet today live in places like Johannesburg or Nairobi or New Delhi. The Brick is a brilliant device that was designed for these harsh environments where the infrastructure isn't robust, but the Brick itself is a rugged design that allows you to drop it, is dust and water resistant, and it is a profoundly important uh, gadget for technology in Africa. I went up to Nairobi recently to look at how they're using the brick with education. Take a look. Nivi Mukherjee, you're the president of Brick Education, but you've been around the education environment for a long time, and you're something of a veteran at bringing good content to these devices. And to my mind, it's the content that's going to engage the kids. Yeah, you know, without the content, it's just really cool hardware is what it is. But with the content, we think that that's what makes it a meaningful educational intervention. That's what turns the way students approach learning, the way teachers approach teaching. Now, by no means can technology ever replace the role of a teacher in a classroom. Learning is a very complex and a beautiful process that really can't be reduced to a series of algorithms. But Yes, we, if there is a bridge needed until t uh, teachers come back to school, we're really hoping that technology can assist there. The first time we took tablets into schools about four years ago, um, the students figured these things out in about three minutes. Anyone who has a smartphone or an iPad at home, and a niece or a nephew or a son or a daughter, they know this. The kids figure it out immediately. It's intuitive, it's easy to use. Um, the real challenge there is to like integrate it meaningfully into a classroom and to integrate it in a way that makes sense for the teacher so she can get through the lessons she needs to and makes sense for the students in that not only are they having fun and being engaged, but they're actually improving their understanding and their cognitive thinking skills. Beautiful design is really quite central to what Brick does in everything. Um, you know, one of the initial bricks that was made, it was very rugged and we didn't think much about device. It was about what it would do. But now the brick is, you know, on display at the Museum of Modern Art. So that's how beautiful it is. Um, and it's a device designed here in Kenya. Intuitive design, intuitive user experience, user interface. That's what makes a product something that people use often. The brick has uh, been something that we've been trying to build for three and a half years. And we actually took it to market last year. So we, we started uh, about a year ago, and we've already shipped to 54 countries around the world. And on top of that, this year is about the, the enabling platform that the Brick is for other things. So we're proud to announce today Brick Education and the three new products that have launched with it to turn any schoolroom in Africa into a digital classroom. If you want to make real change happen in Africa, you start with education. And now technology is no silver bullet. But what we're trying to create here is something that brings a lot of efficiencies and brings the same access to learning to students in Africa, whether they're rural and unconnected or digital and connected in Nairobi, all over the continent. One of the amazing things about the Brick Solution is that we bring content, we bring connectivity, and we bring computing all in the same little box that calls home every evening in case there's an update in content. So the, t the kids that are sitting somewhere out in a rural area, you don't need to go and take the content to them every time you have a change. It automatically happens the next time they pick up their tablets, they're learning the same thing out in Turkana as a kid in Nairobi. So one of the important things about any solution that you bring to technology in Africa is it needs to be, needs to be Africanized a little bit. That means you need to think about the things that don't happen elsewhere where you have better infrastructure. So here it's the bumps and, and, and bruises that kids will have with tablets, or it's the uh, connectivity by 3G as well as any other means. It's the, it's the ability to make things waterproof and dustproof. These are important things for everyday life in Africa. The idea is that you can take a kit into any classroom you can turn it on and make it a digital schoolroom immediately. And when you do that, this isn't just one time. The content trickle loads and updates on its own. So that a year from now, three years from now, you're able to see and do new content that changes with the times. Brian Gonzalez, compared to all the things you've seen around the world, is this really as groundbreaking as we think it is? You know, I've been able to travel to over 95 countries in the last several years, focusing around education solutions. This is absolutely groundbreaking. Um, the attempt here is to 
go after a big issue that we have in education, ability to have access to content anywhere, anytime. The BRIC solution is a well thought out technology component focused around that education solution that really addresses content availability in the classroom. With me is George Jenga who runs the school in Nairobi that is uh, piloting this very clever Kio kit. Can you tell us about how you think it can help education? I believe that uh, the digital age is with us and uh, this uh, program that is running in our school, uh, I believe it is going to transform the children in the way that they work educationally in their studies. And, and have you had any reaction from the parents? What have they said to you about, the, uh, about this project? Yes, uh, we have had some calls from the parents and the parents are excited. They are embracing this also and they are actually waiting to see how their children are also going to be benefit from this. I mean, you see the application of this. I mean, it is simplified in a way that Steve Jobs would find impressive. It's, it's a take, you drag the, the suitcase or you wheel the suitcase in, you open it up, it takes maybe two to three minutes for the, all the kids to pick up their tablets, put on their headphones, and start watching the video. It is not disruptive. At the end of the class, they drop it back in, one button to turn it off and on, one button to charge it. It's just fantastic. It is a, it is a revolutionized way of thinking about delivering the content. It's basically an offline server. So these kids are getting the full experience as if they were on the internet in a you know, place with high broadband like, uh, say, Bryanston. Yes, um, yes. And, uh, and, and they're getting the same experience. It doesn't matter where they are. And I just think for Africa, it is going to be huge. You know Africa's population is mm -hmm. growing at the fastest. One in four people in the future will be African, Af in, you know, in the next uh, growth spurt. Half of the 2.4 billion people, 1.3 of the 2.4 billion people will be born in Africa. We need to think about ways we're going to educate our children and this is an incredibly good solution. Well you know the fabulous